All right, so we're gonna show a quick video of all the puppies. Um, they just got moved into their play yard out here. They're gonna be, all of them will be eight weeks by tomorrow with Daddy's group turning eight weeks tomorrow and Ginger's group turning eight weeks yesterday. So let's do a video and show of all the puppies. We have Lena right here. Lena is one of Daddy's puppies. She is an 88% French tint, so that means she has more Frenchie in her. She's gonna be a little bit calmer than Ginger's group. But she's still very sociable, so likes to play. They all need baths, of course, but that's kind of what comes from playing outside. Um, we don't believe in sterile puppies, you know, just like kids. We want them to be outside in nature, um, you know, getting the fresh grass and the fresh air and some nice cold faucet water. Yes, although we have been filtering their water um, because the water outside is harder than the water in the house and I think it was giving them a little bit looser stools from all the, the minerals. Um, so we're going to give them, maybe giving them filtered water instead. Hi. Hi baby. Uh, this is still Lena. She's actually biting very gently. Oh my goodness. And this is Nodi who's demanding attention right now. Nodi already has a home. He's going to be going maybe this week. And I don't know if, I think this is Trilody. Trilody and her brother are like identical, but Trilody has a little bit more feminine face. Let me see. Come on, babies. Oh, goodness, you guys are all crawling in my lap. <laughs> nope. That's midnight. That is midnight. Hi. And this is Ritzy. She's the one that has one blue eye, and that eye will actually stay blue, just like her mommy. Um, and she is definitely a little bit more mischievous than her sister. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, but she's going to be a looker. And all of our Merles have actually gone up to be um, genetically tested through Tilia Labs in the Czechoslovakia region, which is one of the top uh, Merle laboratories in the world. So we're going to see exactly what kind of Merle they, they are. We know they're Harlequin Merle because of the white. Hi, baby. And this is Blate. We call him Blate because he's black and white on his head. Blate. Hi, buddy. I got a little piggy nose, too. You guys all just wanted my lap. And here we have Genty. <laughs> Genty's ears have not quite gone up yet, although he's trying. Um, he's a very laid-back boy who likes attention. Oh, my goodness. Here's Molly. Molly's one of Ginger's puppies, and she is just a little sassy thing. She is just full of it. Hi, baby. And then over here we have, I don't know if this is classy or prince. Um, I'm guessing that might be classy. She's one of Ginger's puppies. You are just busy chewing on my pants, buddy. Okay, who else are we looking for? Uh, there is Sebastian. Sebastian is a jumping bean. He will jump and jump and jump and he, ow, don't bite my pants. And he likes to play. Right now he's looking for a spot to poop, so we'll come back to him in a little bit. Um, he's one of Ginger's puppies. Ginger's puppies are going to have more of the reddish color, and Daddy's puppies are going to be paler. Um, Daddy has the two blues. We have uh, Justina right there. Justina is a diva. Um, she demands attention. She wants to be number one. She wants to be held all the time, and she's... She pretty much has that Frenchie sass personality, but she's going to have a little bit more energy than your typical Frenchie. And she has a fairly short nose, too. So if you're looking for something that's going to have a little bit more of the Frenchie personality, that would be Justina. Too sad. Baby! Come here, baby! What are you doing? There you are! What are you doing? Oh my goodness. And you are another one that are just insistent. You want to play, and you want attention, and you just demand, 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 demand. This one wants to be spoiled. I think this is the female. Oh my gosh, yes, you guys are all. Yep, this is the girl. So this is Trilody. This is Trilody. And uh, she is, yeah, she just demands, demands, demands. She just wants to be pampered. Um, a little bit more energy than Justina, the blue one over there. So you can see that she's she's got a little playing sass in her. <laughs> but she just she wants to be top dog. <laughs> and you just want attention. And then we have Lady, who's one of Ginger's puppies. She's got a little bit more Boston personality, a little bit more Boston look. Um, very soft. And she's got that little corkscrew tail. 
she is on the cheaper end of our puppies. She is, I believe, a Harlequin Merle, but she could be an atypical Merle based on her paw. Um, so I'm not really quite sure. She is not going out for genetic testing because I don't think she is actually a Harlequin Merle. Um, yes, we have you. You asked that but in my pants. Um, brain fart. Venus. Venus right here is a very interesting puppy. She loves to play. She's one of those happy dogs. She's either happy or sad. Hi, buddy. Hi, Genty. This isn't working with me. Guys, you guys are all trying to crawl into my lap. I know. I know. Okay. Oop. I stepped on a puppy. All right, so this is Justina. She looks very sad and forlorn because most of the time she's <laughs> sad and forlorn, except when you're giving her attention, then she's very happy. Um, she's going to be one of those puppies that just really makes you smile, really makes you laugh. She's got such a... Such a sweet personality. She's calmed it down with people a lot more. She's um, not quite as barky as some of the puppies, not quite as whiny. Um, but she loves to play. She loves being held. And she just wants to be someone's best friend. That's, that's her goal in life. I'm not sure what color eyes she's going to have. Um, what color do you think you're going to have? They might be greenish. They could turn brown. It's hard to say. But she is just a darling. And she is, she is a Harlequin Merle. And she's one of the few puppies that has three different shades of blue on her. Okay, okay, I get it. You want to be seen too. Molly. Molly is just a ham. She just wants attention and love. They're all in my face. Oh, and there's Venus again. She's like, hi, I'm just going to ask nicely up here. Yes, I know. You're such a sweetie. She's going to be a very smart puppy. Um, she is going to be more of an eager, playful, happy puppy. She'd be a great puppy for a family with kids right here. If you're looking for an outdoor companion, someone that's going to have your back, I would say Venus right here. She's going to be a little bit more like Didi, her mom. Or no, her uh, sister. Didi's not your mom, is she? No. She's just beautiful markings. Just absolutely stunning. Just a beautiful girl. And then we have either Prince or Classy. I'm not quite sure which. That's one of Didi's Ow! Didi's puppies. <laughs> you almost need a uh, steel pants coming in here with a pile of puppies because they like to nip and bite. <laughs> and then we have Henry. Henry's got a home. Everybody swoons over Henry and his blue eyes. Can you say hi? Yes, he is a snuggle bug too. He is an absolute sweetheart. And who are we missing? I know we're missing. <laughs> Oh, Olympus. Olympus is in there playing by himself. I know. I already covered you like three times, Molly. And, okay, you guys are untying my shoes. Come on, can I have my shoelaces? So this is one of those reasons why it's nice to come and visit the puppies in person because you can just get a feel for their personality when they're with their family. Uh, this is Sophina. She's already been adopted. And here's Olympus. He is just a ham. He is a character and a half. Um, Olympus, out of his group, he's not a ginger slitter. So ginger slitter is typically going to have more energy. He's more laid back. But he's going to be just a big, happy boy. He is the biggest in his litter. I'm going to guess he will easily be 30 pounds. Um, but he's just so easygoing. He gets along with everybody. Um, and he just... Uh, See him rolling around. He's just a ham. He is just a ham. Just a ham and a half. Um, oh, we have our little boy right here, Dusky. He is our littlest puppy. He is out of Didi's litter, so he's also 88%. And he likes to play and he likes to socialize. Um, he's fairly laid back, but not quite as laid back as some of Didi's other puppies. So he's got a little bit more play and spunk to him, but it could be because of his tiny size. I would say he will be a maximum of 25 pounds, so if you're looking for a little... You got my hand there, buddy. If you're looking for a little guy, it'd be Dusky. And he's got a nice personality on him. Okay, guys, I cannot video you when you're all crawling on me. I know. We, we got a... Olympus, how did you even manage to get on my lap? I didn't even notice. So this is how sneaky he is. He's just like, da 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 you're not even going to notice me. I'm just going to be right here. He's going to be the one that uh, you tell him not to get on the bed, and then you turn around and he's sleeping next to you and you just didn't notice. <laughs> That's going to be Olympus for you. Then his ears are up and down. Um, 
most of them have their ears all the way up except for Venus is the only one that hasn't actually put her ears all the way up yet. The other ones, they go up and they go down. Um, but very likely Venus will be going up in, you know, another week or two. But if they seem like that their ears aren't going up um, by 10 weeks, I do have recommendations for taping the ears that are very easy and very humane. Uh, Didi's ears actually had to be taped because they looked like Venus's ears. They were just kind of half like that. And, uh... I think it was like 36 hours of taping and they were straight as could be. So, let's take some of this mayhem going on here. So these guys have been mixed together permanently. Um, just because it's easier. They all play together. They're all good friends. Aren't, aren't you? Sebastian and Molly. And these guys, their pictures are all on the websites. Um, the pictures were taken at six weeks, which would have been two weeks ago. And we might do one more photo shoot of eight weeks with their bow ties on. They all have little bow ties that they got. Um, I you. You're supposed to be the quiet one, and now you're just discovering that you have a bark today? Is that it? You just, oh, they found the toy and they're dragging it out. <sighs> oh, did you tire yourself out? Oh, she got the camera. I better get out. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi, Ritzy. You are just a cool looking girl. Look at that blue eye. So gorgeous. Um, and the blue eyed ones are rare to have. Um, one eye seems to be more common than two eyes. We haven't had any others with two eyes besides Didi. Ah, look at your big tum tum. Look at your big tum. Oh, I can't even scratch it because everyone's gonna jump on you. So, yeah. So the puppies get to play out here if the weather's nice. Um, if the weather's not nice, they play in the barn. We have a whole uh, fenced off area inside the barn where they can play and romp and play with toys. And um, Normally we have an area inside the house for them to play, but with this many puppies, they're going to be running through their own, their own poops and that's not cool, is it, buddy? No, we don't want you running through your poop. No, yucky. No, yucky. Oh, here, mommy. Mommy's barking at a truck going by. <laughs> there they go. Hmm. I'm guessing the male lady might be here. <laughs>